<laughs> uh, you know, I just like the venue. It's a great place. It's obviously very thankful for our soccer team to allow us to come out here uh, when they're in season also and get prepared. They've got a big match on Friday. So, uh, you know, get out under the lights. You know, it's just kind of a prelude to what it's going to be like when we're out here permanently. So it's uh, going to be a heck of a setting. It'll be a lot of fun. A little bit better than the spring weather, so it's nice. Were there any noise ordinances you had to get worked out before? We have a few more issues when we're over at, on Central Street than we have here being on campus. So now, no issues whatsoever. How was the first night practice uh, yesterday? I thought it went well. You know, obviously the weather is an issue right now here. Um, you know, we're going to play in 20 degree cooler weather. Uh, on Saturday, so just being smart. Don't want to take too much out of the guys' legs. Well, we get a lot of work done, but you know, at the same time, we don't want to peak last night, tonight, tomorrow, or Thursday afternoon. We want to we want to peak, uh, you know, peak on Saturday night out there. You seen anything from uh, Colin since you stepped short officially? Any changes in performance? Like yeah, not really. I mean, I I think as we've kind of looked at, uh, you know, our camp our. Camp gave us enough time to be prepared for kind of when our two deep came out, you know what I mean? Uh, so the guys pretty much knew where they were going to be at probably about a week ago, uh, where things formalized and finalized, not really, but we've been working with the same groups kind of for about the last two, two and a half weeks. So I think the guys have been uh, really focused. I thought we had a really, really good practice from a standpoint of execution from our scout team last night. We got a great look, uh, one of the best looks I've ever seen for a first Tuesday. It, don't, I don't want to be confusing here, but yesterday was our Tuesday practice, even though it was on Monday, uh, for, our, for our first Tuesday practice of the year. I really thought the, the guys did a nice job, so uh, hopefully they'll come back and do it again tonight. What is the schedule of your installation over the course of a game week? Well, it's uh, a little independent in all three phases. So kick game-wise, uh, we'll, we'll pretty much settle on what we're going to do over the weekend, meaning Sunday, maybe early on Monday morning, and then we kind of have a sequential plan on how we practice that throughout the course of the week. Defensively, uh, you know, early in the week are a lot of base runs, play action passes, first down stuff, uh, and then any gadgetry we got to work or any, you know, anomalies that might be a little different or things that maybe we hadn't seen in the past. So we'll expose the guys to that uh, early in the week and then kind of work our way through the, the, the situations of the game, third down. Uh, you know, red zone, tight zone, them coming out, two minute, you know, all the little nuances, all the little wrinkles. And then same thing offensively, you know, primarily working, you know, first down stuff, base package things uh, early in the week and then progressing, uh, you know, situations of the game as the week goes along. And then kind of putting it all together on Thursday. You, know, you guys aren't around typically on Thursday, but, you know, Thursday's a heavy kick emphasis. We kind of go through every, every phase uh, on Thursday. And then at the same time, we kind of work sequentially on how we expect at least the game to start off with. And, put our guys kind of in, hey, first drive all the way to a two-minute situation. You, you talked about the weather, and, and last year you guys went from practicing in, in the mid-70s all of a sudden having to play in 90-degree yeah. carrier dome. Yeah. Now it's kind of the opposite. Do you prefer it this way, where you're practicing a little bit warmer and then it gets cooler? or? I'll let you know on Sunday. Yeah, I, I, I would say absolutely, from just the way your body reacts, yeah. I mean, you, you, there was no way for us to emulate what we experienced a year ago. and. Um, you know, we were really hoping that that, that night, that warm front was going to go through uh, Syracuse a couple of days prior to, but, uh, you know, we, we kind of ran into a tough situation there, especially with the way we played in the second half. So, you know, that's that's in the book. And again, now we're experiencing this here. Uh, it's been it's been very warm. It was very warm all day uh, yesterday and today. It's going to break, I think, at some point tonight, uh, which will really help us here the next couple of days as we wrap up our prep. You mentioned last week the kickoff situation, kick return situation was yet to be determined. Mm -hmm. Has there been any progress on that front? No, no. We'll we'll, we'll see where things are going to go, especially early. You know, we might play multiple guys back there. We'll we'll see how things go. Obviously, uh, you know, Venner can go out and do those things for us at any time. But at the, at the same time, it's a long year, so we'll we'll see how that as that progresses and you know, kind of a plan. Like even today, we'll work multiple guys in multiple places that may not be where. Uh, we start on Saturday, but we, w we definitely want to expose some guys to some things uh, so we're prepared for kind of every contingency that we possibly can. The one problem with practicing at night, we have way too much time on our hands right now as coaches. That's the one thing I really do like about the morning practice routine. There's no sleep on it. There's no go for a jog and think about this, that, and the other. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. It's, it's go to work and, and, uh, and get, it, get it going. For us now, we have too much time on our hands and we're thinking about too many ifs and what ifs and, and all that stuff. Is that to say that, that this is really a one week only thing, especially when we look out at the, at the future? 
playing four, four of your first five games in the evening. This late? Yeah, we're not worried. There's no way in heck we're going this late ever again unless I have to. Uh, we'll go at 4 o'clock next week and 4 o'clock then week three, and then we'll get into our morning routine uh, for uh, for the main and then uh, the bye week from a standpoint of, uh, you know, going into switch day and, and moving in and, you know, new student week and all that stuff in preparation for school. I mean, it just... For our academic schedule, it just makes way too much sense for us to practice in the morning, you know, when we get to school.